Hi, my name is Detroit Miracle, and I am here to tell everybody the truth about casino practices and the way that they regard people that play those games inside their facilities. Well, do you know that casinos are taking in millions of dollars each every day at every given time? And it's not because rich people are coming in there gambling and losing all types of money, but rather it's because poor people are coming in and gambling much of their paychecks, much of their salaries, much of their savings, much of everything that they have. Yes, that is an undeniable fact. And that is because the casinos regard poor people as being the most exploitable. That's because casinos regard poor people as gullible enough to be taken advantage of. Now with rich people that come into those various gambling establishments, they are not deemed so gullible or exploitable but they still can be taken advantage of to a certain extent. And the casino operators are able to determine a classification of person based on how they are dressing, how they are betting, and how many and how much stakes they are willing to put up for those games. And this is quite simply the truth in that overstatement. Yes, poor people are more exploitable than rich people as far as gambling. And poor people gamble the most and not rich people. Even though rich people might play for higher stakes and they can more than afford to lose so they don't have a problem with playing for higher stakes. But you might have millions and millions of poor people that will go in there out of sheer desperation and they will pretty much play all that they have in the vain hopes of striking it rich very quick. And I've heard many poor people's story or I've heard them give accounts of going in there periodically and maybe winning $800, $2,000, $3,000, even $5,000. Yes, that's all fine and dandy, but those same people told me that, yeah, but it was occasions that I lost $7,000, $4,000, $2,000, $800, $2,000. So those people that claim that they want all this money at any given time or any particular occasion, they are not consistently winning every time they go, but instead they are losing more than what they initially won. And that's the trap to get you to come back in there repeatedly. They might set a dummy up and let them win $500, maybe $2,000, maybe $1,700, and maybe even $20,000 because they know that person is going to come back and not only lose back what they won, but they're going to lose back everything else they have accumulated in their entire existence, such as the kids' college funds, the, the cars, the houses, the second mortgage, the stocks, the bonds, the mutual funds. Yes, poor people do have stocks and bonds and mutual funds because they might have them. Anybody can get stocks, bonds, and mutual funds and pay on them. And you do not have to put substantial amounts of money in those. So, I mean, I'm telling, I'm coming clean. I'm telling people that this is the truth that they and they should wake up. And, and especially poor people who are going in there 
wasting their money, giving them millionaire, billionaire, trillionaires, everything they got. Because there's no way that they can come out on top anyway. And especially after hearing what I said, because those people that control the casinos are looking at them as poor dummies who are exploitable. Now let's get on the rich people. Now, over the course of time, they say if a rich person keeps coming in there and batting and batting and losing and losing and losing, the more that they lose, the more they will be regarded as gullible and exploitable because the more they lose, the poorer they become. But if a rich person goes in there that has a hundred million dollars and they lose a million dollars, they still got 99 million left. So they're not going to be looked at as gullible and exploitable despite losing that type of money. It's as simple as that. But if that hundred million that goes in there and loses 99 million and has 1 million left, then they are going to be looked at as gullible, stupid, dumb, and exploitable by those that operate and control those gaming systems, which are casinos. So hear me, people. I'm not lying. I'm Detroit Miracle, and I always tell the truth because I don't have no reason to lie because no one is paying me to make this video or make any of my videos and lie. So my solution is, if y'all are looking to strike it rich, as a collective, get together with the same people that are like you. You know, they're saying the birds of the flat feather flock together, or the birds of the same feather flock together. So uh, pass out things at the door to uh, people and get them together and say, look, the only way we're going to come out on top is get some kind of joint bank account or invest in stocks and bonds and mutual funds to a greater substantial amount of that is quite simply. Or you would be better off going to the horse races and playing the horses because you can bet on like every horse and then there's no way that you're going to lose. But the casinos are set up to take all y'all money. Well, if y'all enjoyed this video, please put a comment by the comment section and a like. And you are more than welcome to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.